This week, Caltrans and Sandag began working on a wetlands restoration project in the San Diego Lagoon. The CBS 8's Brian White gives us a behind the scenes look at the work being done. The wetlands you see here just east of the I-5 near Via de la Valle were restored in 2012. And now Caltrans and Sandag are working to restore the land just to the south of here back to its original form as tidal wetlands. We're establishing safe zones for the natural wildlife so that our construction equipment stays out of their way. Caltrans construction crews began working on phase two of the San Diego Lagoon Wetland Restoration, a project that will convert an additional 80 acres of land east of the I-5 into tidal wetlands. The salt marsh restoration part of the project is kind of over there in, in the distance. This land had been used for agricultural purposes up until about 2004, but the original habitat looked a lot different. Well, that area used to be all tidal wetlands with the tides moving back and forth and then with the past development you know you had the the racetrack you had the rail the highway it's limited the wetlands that we see in the region so this is a way of getting back some of the environmental enhancement in the coastal zone new hiking trails will connect all the way over to the existing coast to crest trail you can get out there and walk see the birds see the animals enjoy nature Hiker Brian Swanson took advantage of the existing trails around the lagoon Thursday. He says this type of restoration is very beneficial to plants and birds like the clapper rail and the gnat catcher. Well, there's those certain animals that need this specific habitat, the tidal marsh, the uplands associated with that to live and shelter and eat. Bringing back the fish and you know bringing back the, the vegetation and the birds that used to be there. Really exciting. It's being done to offset some improvements to infrastructure in the region. So it's kind of a win-win. We get our improvements for infrastructure, but we're also making the environment better. This phase of restoration will cost $87 million, paid for with the Sandag Transnet Environmental Mitigation Program, along with federal funding. Now the project overall will take about three years to complete, and at that point, it will be open to the public.